Hello and welcome back to Soracist. Today we're going to be looking at a tutorial, so make sure you do stick around for that. If you like this video, smash the like button and subscribe to the channel. If you're not signed up to Sora yet, sign up using the link below. You'll get a free limited card and you'll also get to draft your fantasy teams. Follow me on Twitter and Facebook and check out my website, Soracist.com. Okay guys, let's get stuck into today's content. So today we're going to be learning all about Ethereum, cryptocurrency, NFTs and the blockchain. Obviously these are all relevant to Surrey, so make sure you stick around and listen all the way to the end. So what is Ethereum then? So Surrey is run on the cryptocurrency Ethereum and is the currency you will need to start buying player cards on Surrey. So it's a good idea to learn a little bit about what Ethereum is and Ether of course which is obviously what we'll be using to buy those player cards. So Ethereum is a decentralized open source blockchain with a smart contract functionality. Ether or ETH is the native cryptocurrency of Surrey. Amongst cryptocurrencies, Ether is second only to Bitcoin in market capitalization. So it's the second biggest cryptocurrency there is at the time of recording. So what is cryptocurrency then? So crypto shop cryptocurrency is a new form of digital money powered by cryptography. It all started in 2008 with Bitcoin. You could use it to send funds to anyone, anywhere, globally. What made crypto different from the normal bank transfers or other financial services like PayPal or Alipay is that there was no middleman for the first time. Ethereum allows anyone to deploy permanent and immutable decentralized applications onto it with which users can interact. Decentralized finance applications provide a broad array of financial services without the need for typical financial intermediaries like brokerages, exchanges or banks, such as allowing cryptocurrency users to borrow against their holdings or lend them out for interest. So what can Ethereum do then? What are its use cases then? These are just some of them but there is more beyond these three that I've selected here. So banking for everyone. Not everyone has access to financial services, but all you need to access Ethereum is its lending, borrowing and savings products in an internet connection, a peer-to-peer -peer network. Ethereum allows you to move money or make agreements directly with someone else. You don't need to go through intermediary companies. So in this example, I suppose that is when you are obviously buying or trading a card with another manager on Surrey. A more private internet. You don't need to provide all your personal details to use an Ethereum app. Ethereum is building an economy based on value, not surveillance. Creation of NFTs. Ethereum also allows for the creation and exchange of NFTs, which are non-interchangeable tokens connect to a digital works of art or other real world items and sold as unique digital property like so rare cards. Additionally, many other cryptocurrencies operate as the ERC20 tokens on top of the Ethereum blockchain and have utilized the platform for initial coin offerings. What are NFTs? I'll now touch on what NFTs are which on server are the player cards. NFT stands for non-fungible token and is a unit of data stored on a digital ledger called a blockchain that certifies any digital file to be unique. An NFT functions like a cryptographic token, but unlike cryptocurrencies such as Bitcoin are not mutually interchangeable. In other words, non-fungible. Now, while we're on the subject of cards and the blockchain, it's also worth giving a brief description of what the blockchain is. Now, this isn't something you wear around your neck. No, it's much more fancy than that. In simple terms, a blockchain is a ledger of transactions and so Rare uses the blockchain to keep a record of all the player card sales and purchases. These transactions are completed through Ethereum. So in summary then, Ethereum is a decentralized open source blockchain with smart contract functionality. Ethereum allows anyone to deploy permanent and immutable decentralized applications onto it, with, with which users can then interact. Ethereum also allows for the creation and exchange of NFTs. NFT stands for non-fungible token as a unit of data stored on a digital ledger called a blockchain. The blockchain is a ledger of transactions and so Rare uses the blockchain to keep a record of all the player card sales and purchases. So as you can see, this is a very important part of the so Rare ecosystem. We obviously need Ethereum to be able to purchase the player cards and the technology of Ethereum also allows the creation of the NFTs, which of course are also the player cards. We can then do trades with our managers without a middleman needed. Because using the smart contract functionality that Ethereum offers, we're able to exchange the cards freely, either in trades or by purchasing them on the open market. 
So that is pretty much everything you need to know in a nutshell about Ethereum, cryptocurrency, NFTs, and the blockchain. If you want to find out more about Ethereum, you can visit the official website, which is www.ethereum.org. Okay, thanks for watching as always. If you like this video, smash that like button and subscribe to the channel. Of course, you can sign up to so Rare today, take advantage of this technology using the link below. You can also get a free Sora ebook as well, Ultimate Guide Sora ebook. There is a link for the description for that below. You can download, download that today. And follow me on Twitter and Facebook by searching Sora Assist. Okay, guys, thanks for watching. See you again on the next video.